The roles of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald and Fox Green are temporarily being played by Priscilla Garita and Nick Stabile. Oh, heinous, heinous day, Endora. Life could hardly get any worse for our enemies and neighbors, could it? <laughs> oh, let me count the ways they're going down the tubes, huh? Now, uh, video feed, if you please. Mm -hmm. Oh, Channel 13, how very appropriate. Brilliant. One of my favourite messes. Popcorn, please, Endora. <laughs> Whitney's mad as a wet hen that Fox is in love with her, so she's told Chad she'll marry him. Of course, you and I know she's only doing it because she can't bear to admit she's let Fox get under her skin. And that's because he's the son of the man she blames for her family falling apart. Old Julian Crane himself. That's right. Julian, your sorry excuse for a father. Although we don't want to broadcast that around, do we? Hmm? <laughs> anyway... Fox is only part of Whitney's problem. There's the little matter of the pregnancy test she just took. I'm pregnant? What am I going to do? Which brings us to another baby. Or should I say babies? <laughs> Gwen thinks Teresa's preggers with Gwen's baby by Ethan, and Teresa thinks she's preggers with her own baby by Ethan, and who knows what Ethan thinks? Only now, Teresa's just had some news from the doctor that changes everything. Twins? Dios mío. Thanks to Eve's bitter sister, Ms. Liz, everything's out in the open now. Damn you! Damn you the hell! TC knows even Julian danced the hanky panky way back when and had a child together. And TC might have forgiven her had he not caught her in bed with Julian last night. Not that he had any right to throw stones after being consoled exactly the same way by Sister Liz herself. Oh, TC. That was wonderful. Talk about a cold fish. <laughs> and it almost didn't work. Thanks to Father Lonigan, TC had a change of heart and he was all ready to patch things up. Which, of course, forced Mean Girl Liz to drop a big bomb about who really caused the accident that cut off his burgeoning tennis career. Julian wanted to cheer Eve up. So he went to his father's office to demand the name of their long-lost love child. I don't know. When will people ever learn to be careful what they pray for? Anyway... Alistair told Julian, and somehow I don't think it's going to cheer Eve up at all. <sighs> welcome, welcome, welcome to two new faces to Harmony. Or should I say old faces, before the extreme makeover they both had. <laughs> Endora? Yes, meet the Wheelers. <laughs> They've both been hiding out in Mexico for years. She is Catherine. <laughs> yes. Mum to Sheridan and Julian. And guess who he is? He's Martin. <laughs> yes, Martin, the long-lost husband of Pilar. <laughs> and father to Luis, Miguel, Teresa, Paloma, and the recently blown-up Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> They've been watching over outcast Paloma all these years, who, of course, has no idea Mr. Wheeler is really her father. ¿Estoy ahora mejor? Yes, that's much better, thank you. Now you look like a proper young lady. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go get our bags, okay? Now Luis and Sheridan are down there, too, and they're wondering why they feel so close to the lovely couple they think they've never met. Oh, my God. <laughs> but alas... Alistair has plans for all of them. I'll give you a hint, Indora. It rhymes with kaboom. 
Stay tuned, Endora. More hardship and heartache right after the break. <laughs> Doctor, come out and tell us what's going on. Ultrasounds don't take that long. He's got to know by now if something's wrong. Honey, I'm sure he'll come out and tell us something as soon as he can. Come on, let's get something to drink. Honey, I'm just getting this feeling that whatever is going on in that room is going to change our lives forever. <sighs> what does this mean, Mama? I have two individual amniotic sacs. Do you think I could still be carrying Gwen and Ethan's baby? The embryo I had implanted? I don't know, Teresa. Didn't Gwen's doctor say that her eggs weren't viable? Yes. But maybe they were wrong. Maybe they implanted more than one of Gwen's eggs. Or maybe I got pregnant with my own two eggs. I have no idea. The possibilities are endless. You, you should ask Dr. Moore. I can't ask him. I can't tell him how I got pregnant with the other baby. If that's what happened. What difference does it make what happened, Teresa? What are you going to do? Do? I told you. I warned you, Teresa, that nothing good would come of your scheming. Nothing good? Mama, I have two wonderful babies inside me. Yes, Teresa. Which means that it'll be even harder for you to give them up. You do realize that you may have to give Gwen both these babies. No. These babies are mine, Mama. And I'm not giving either one of them to Gwen. TC, I don't understand what's going on. Hello, Eve. Oh, God, Liz. What have you done now? It's not what Liz did. It's what you did, Eve. Damn you! Damn you the hell! Chad Harris is my son with Eve. Not much of a gift to give Eve, is it? Finding out that her daughter is planning to marry her own half-brother. Great material for a Larry Winger show, isn't it? <laughs> Chad and Whitney are half-brother and sister? What does this mean to... Oh, my God. Hey, you okay in there? Uh, your tea's ready. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, um... I'm just still a little queasy, that's all. Okay, uh, well, I'm... I'm here if you need me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Luck, if I never needed you before... I need you now. Please don't be positive. Please, please don't be positive. Oh my God. I'm pregnant. What am I gonna do? We need to get to Louise. Hopefully found Paloma by now. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. Who knows what Alistair's planning. Paloma! <laughs> You'll have a front row seat to your brother's death.
You can't keep both babies, Teresa. There's no justification for you denying Gwen the baby that is hers by Ethan. Excuse me. What justification does she have for keeping my little boy away from me? One thing, Mija. That was her mother's idea, not hers. Same difference. I'm sorry, Teresa, but I do not like to see you this way. Mama, I'm carrying both these babies, not Gwen. And besides, we don't even know if either one of them is Gwen's. They could both be mine. Or both be hers. They're inside me, which makes them mine. And I'm not going to give them up after carrying them for nine long months. I'm going to get little Ethan back, and I'm going to keep both babies. We heard, Teresa. We know everything. Okay, what is it, TC? I mean, you, you called me, you wanted me to come over, you said we could talk about getting back together. That's before I knew about the biggest lie of all, Eve. I asked you, I asked you if there was anything you were holding from me. If there was anything that you were hiding from me. I told you the truth. I, 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 t I told you everything. TC, you know all of my dirty secrets. I'm sorry about Julian and my son. I'm sorry about singing in the clubs and everything that went with it. Oh, you mean like the sex and the drugs and the booze? Yes, Liz. If it makes you happy to say it all over again, yes, I am sorry for all of it. But that is everything that I did wrong. Don't I wish. Right now, none of that even comes close to what Liz told me. Well, she's lying, TC. She's been trying to break us up ever since she got here. You can't believe a word out of her bare, hateful mouth. Will you stop blaming me for your sins, Eve? Every little bit of this is your fault. You know, I thought I heard the worst of it. But I can't imagine that you would betray me any worse than what you already have. What is it, TC, please? What is it that you think I have done now? It was you, Eve. You were driving the car the night of my accident. The night that ended my father's dreams. A night that I would never forget as long as I live. I... I understand. Julian said... The hell with Julian Crane this time! All this time, I thought it was him that was behind the wheel of that car. It was you. You were the one that ruined my life, Eve. Chad Harris is my son. Yours and Eve's. A living reminder of your ill-fated romp all those years ago. Hmm, have fun dropping that bombshell on Eve. Oh, my God. Whitney. Yes, yes, Eve's illegitimate son by you is romantically involved with Eve's daughter by T.C. Uh, you might warn them they could have a bit of a trouble getting a marriage license unless they've changed the incest laws in this state. Oh, my God. All right, out, Julian, out. You got what you came for. Now deal with it. enough you heard everything grandfather told you my god how am i ever going to tell eve to hell with eve whitney's about to marry her half brother oh my god i'm pregnant oh my god but that, i mean how can this be possible i mean Chad and I have always been so careful. I thought that, um... Hey, baby, are you all right now? No, I'm not all right. I'm not all right at all. <laughs> Shut up. Your brother Luis is dead. Oh, Monica and his name is going to bring him back. Oh. Luis! Sharon, no, 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 Not my son. Louise, turn back on the 
Everything Ethan and I have been through, how is this possible? Ethan. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm in shock, Teresa. I mean, this is coming on top of us letting you move into the mansion to be near little Ethan and telling you that you could have him back as soon as you gave birth. You don't understand. I do. I do. We know everything now. What are you going to do, Gwen? Don't you know? of all the people in the world. The one person that I trusted and loved the most is the person that took everything away from me. Eve, how the hell could you? TC, I wasn't driving the car. <laughs> oh, TC, she is lying. I saw the proof on one of the CDs that Luis took away from Alistair Crane. TC, I don't know what she saw, but it was wrong. I know for a fact that I was not driving the car. Well, how, how do you know, Eve? That's Julian. Julian told me that, that I wasn't driving the car. He said he was driving it. I knew it. I knew it all this time. I'm going to kill Julian this time, and nobody is going to stop me. I got to find Whitney. Wait, not so fast, Fox. What are you talking about? Whitney's sleeping with Chad. She's planning a wedding to him. I've got to let her know that he's her brother. What if father is lying? Why would he do that? Well, let me count the ways to cause me pain, to punish Eve for bearing an out-of-wedlock child with the precious grain genes, to, to be a monster. There are any number of reasons that father would make this up. I don't know. It sounded believable to me. Maybe you're just grasping at straws because you don't want it to be true. But there's something else. Chad's DNA was run through a computer at the hospital. It didn't match Eve's DNA or my... Idiot. I had the results changed. Like it or not, Chad's your boy by the doctor with a dicey past. If only I could be a fly on the wall when you tell her that her oldest daughter's about to marry her brother. Oh, Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll be right out. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Um, do I tell Chad or, um, okay, God, please, please, please help me handle this, please. Okay, just pull yourself together, it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. hey. You were in there awfully long time, I was worried. Oh, just those instructions on that stomach medication. It was hard to understand, but I'm okay now. Well, that's a relief. So maybe now you're more up to talking about our big day. Big day? We're still getting married, right? Married? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course we are. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, I think we need to talk about how we're going to swing everything. You know, there's a lot to work out. Yeah, I know. And for starters, kids. Now, I'm in total agreement that we should wait to start a family. You know, nothing messes up a relationship faster than an unwanted pregnancy. Yeah. Let me go! We've got to get Luis out of there! The rubble's unstable. You can't go any further. Please, let me go. I can't leave him in there. I've got to get to Luis! I'm sorry, miss. It's too dangerous. Your friend was caught in the middle of the explosion. There's no way he's... How do you know he didn't survive? Why should I believe that you changed Chad's DNA test? You'd have delighted in all of our shocked reactions even back then. Timing, Julian, timing. And the negative publicity. 
I foresaw all the sordid headlines, heir to the crane fortune, father's bastard, mixed race baby, and that's only for starters. What's so different now? I'm used to bad press these days, Foxworth. I stopped wasting energy trying to control all the leaks and outrages perpetrated by those connected to this family. Sheridan runs off with not one but two Latino-Irish sons of the family maid. Your father, Julian, hooks up with a do-gooder dwarf to go off in search of a soul. I don't care about bad publicity anymore because I don't care about you. You'll never run the Crane Empire or inherit all its wealth. You're dead to me, Julian. D-E-A-D. You know something, Father? I don't give a damn. Oh, a spine. My son's grown a spine. It'll come in handy when you walk Eve down the aisle at her daughter's wedding to her own son. Oh, but oh dear. Oh, they're going to have a problem, no. How do you seat the guests? On which side of the aisle do you put relatives when the bride and groom are in the same family? <laughs> but you still want to have children, right? Absolutely. Nothing would make me happier than having a baby with you. Someday. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Uh, sure. I mean, I know this is going to sound macho as all get out, but, um... I was kind of hoping our first one would be a boy. Not because they're better than girls or anything like that. It's just, I'd love the chance to raise a son with all the things that didn't happen for me. You know, a, a loving, stable home. <laughs> Two parents that can't get enough of them. Yeah. Yeah, they go a long way to put my past on the shelf where it belongs. Well, you know, maybe you didn't have it as bad as you thought. Because my home life was stable. You know, I thought it was the most loving family in the world, but it all turned out to be a bunch of lies. Well, some of it was, but... No, my mother was completely different than she made herself out to be. She was a whore, Chad. She did things for men in order to stay high. She was nothing but a common whore. I always knew Julian was a hit-and-run driver that almost killed me that night. And then he ran off like the coward that he is. DC, he didn't mean to hurt you. It, it was an accident, and he... Julian and Alistair don't have accidents, Eve. Alistair knew that I was going to win the tennis tournament that year. He knew that a man of color was going to beat his son. Never mind, they could have killed me that night. DC, wait. Now listen, you have got it all wrong. Eve was driving that night. That's not what she says. Yes, and you believe her? After all the lies she's told you about everything else? T.C., she's doing it again. She will say anything to save her own neck. She'll even point the finger at the man who protected her that night. Damn it, I don't know what to think! Well, I do. And I am telling you, I saw the proof with my own eyes. Then show it to me, Liz. Show it to T.C. Huh? Come on, where's the proof? I don't have it. It was on one of the CD-ROMs that Louise had to give back to Alistair Crane because his mother needed medical treatment. You are so bluffing. She's just bluffing, TC. I know for a fact that I was not driving the car that night. Maybe you really don't know. Maybe you were high. Maybe you passed out from all the liquor and the drugs, but it was you, Eve. T.C., it was Eve. As God is my witness, I saw the proof. Eve was driving the car that night. I got you. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Let me go, Mr. Wheeler. I've got to find Louise. No, no, you can't. Nobody can. The guide was right. It's too late to save Louise. <laughs> Easy. Two of my sons, Catherine. Both of them died. I 
knowing I was her father, how much I loved her. I know. It's just not fair. <laughs> thank you, Teresa. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I am so thrilled. You are? Teresa, this is more than I have ever dreamed of. Are you kidding me? Two for the price of one here. <laughs> Uh-oh. I see the bird's out of the cage already. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Teresa. I, I know you wanted to be the one to tell Ethan and Gwen about the two babies, but Gwen was so worried about you that I, I felt I had to say something. Two babies. This is unbelievable. Honey, we're going to be the parents <laughs> of twins. We're going to have twins. <laughs> You've been hounding me for the name of your son for months, and now you have it. Chad Harris. Should have left well enough alone, Julian. But then, you never have. I should have known. Uh, Mr. Crane. Yeah? About what you said earlier, I really appreciate it. I mean, um, I've heard all kinds of bad things about you, and I, I don't know what kind of father you were to Fox and Ethan growing up, but uh, the way you are now, but what I'm trying to say is, I think you'd be good as a father. I should have known. Baby, I know you were in shock about your mother and Julian's affair a long time ago. No, no. It wasn't an affair. They had a baby together, Chad. I mean, somewhere out there I have a half-brother that I don't even know. And in time, if you want, we can try and find him. Well, who says I want to find him? He's going to be the uncle to our children, Whitney. I mean, not now, but in a few years when we decide to have kids. Maybe meanwhile, I right, try not to focus on the negative. Now, we got too much ahead of us. I'm figuring the first few years we can work on our career, and then when we're good and ready, we can get to that first baby. Well, what if it doesn't happen that way? Why wouldn't it? I mean, sometimes, you know, things just happen in spite of all your plans. What are we gonna do if things happen out of order? We'll make adjustments. Baby, as long as I'm with you, everything is cool. He really means that. It was you, Eve. You were behind the wheel of the car that rammed into TC's that night. Damn it. Which one of you are telling the truth? I swear I wasn't driving. I was in the passenger seat. So you admit that you were in the car that hit me? Yes. Yes, T.C., I was, but I swear I didn't remember until recently. I would have told you. Oh, yeah, like you told him about Julian's baby. Shut up, Liz. I want to hear this from Eve. Okay. A while back, I remembered being in the car. And it's true. At first, I was terrified. See what I told you? Liz. And then I went to Julian. And he explained that, that my memory was just playing tricks on me, that those... Flashes of memory that I was having weren't real. Well, Eve, why don't you tell me about these flashes of memory? Eve, he wants out! Oh, no! No, can't be true. Honey, it can't be. So 
amazing having two babies in the house. Oh my God, tell me we're gonna have to start shopping for two of everything. <laughs> Teresa, you can't blame Gwen for being so excited. Oh no. How dare she dance around at the prospect of taking my babies from me? She's already stolen little Ethan. Mira, Teresa, you wouldn't even be pregnant if you hadn't sabotaged Ethan and Gwen's surrogate and tricked Ethan into making you pregnant. Well, the doctor said that you and the babies are well enough to be released tonight. Yes, that's what I understand. So, honey, why don't we uh, check Teresa out while she's getting ready and then we can all go back to the mansion together. We have so much shopping to do. Two cribs, two strollers. Twice the diapers. <laughs> Teresa, I meant what I said earlier. Thank you. I mean, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please. I am so grateful that Ethan talked the two of us out of this stupid feud. You know, once the babies are born, you'll have little Ethan back, and I'll have my precious babies. Right, Teresa, this is... This is by far the most generous thing anyone has ever done for me. Thank you. Teresa, she's so happy she's floating on air, Mija. How can you even think of keeping these babies from because her? they're not her babies. They're mine. Besides, she deserves everything that's coming to her. She and her mother had you thrown out of your house. They made it impossible for any of us to get jobs in town. And worst of all, they took my son from me. No, Mama. Gwen's not getting either one of these babies, much less both of them. I'm keeping them. And I'm getting little Ethan back, too. Watch me. It's not that I mind Chad being my half-brother. It's what it's gonna do to Whitney. I know, and Eve will be devastated. What is it with his dad? How is it that we can love Whitney and Eve as much as we do, and it seems like all we do is cause them grief and heartache. I don't know, maybe it's some curse we carry being born cranes. God's little joke on us. I mean, we're born into power and privilege and money, but when it comes to the thing that's really important, we, we seem destined to fail. I don't care so much about what I stand to lose. It's Whitney that I care about. I won't be able to live with myself if our family destroys her. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> to the woman of my dreams, the love of my life, to blessing me with the answers to all my prayers. To us, Whitney. What? You don't like my toast? <laughs> no, your toast is beautiful. Um, I... I can't drink this. Why not? There's something I have to tell you. And, um... It's very important. Damn it, I need to know which one of you is telling the truth. Because too much is at stake here. I know TC at the house wasn't driving the car. She is lying, TC. She's even admitted to having memories that she was. Oh, but they weren't real. Julian told me. Oh, yes, yeah. because as usual, your sugar daddy is trying to protect you from the truth. But think about it, E. Think hard. Back to that night. Oh, God. Oh, no, please. Oh, no. Well, TC, I guess we have our answer. You will not get away with this. <laughs> Come on. I already have. I've already bumped off your brother, Luis. Now I got three more hits to go. Maybe four. 
It'll be the other way around. I will kill you myself. <laughs> that's that's funny. I like a girl with spirit. Now you gotta be quiet because I got a phone call to make, okay? That's me, sir. And Luis is dead. The explosion took care of everything. Excellent. And my daughter? Beside herself with grief last time I saw her. And she does that so well. I want her, Martin, and Catherine to go next. What about the girl? Yeah, she's such good bait, it would be a shame to waste her this early. I'm saving her for the last. It's too late, Sheridan. The explosion had to have killed him. We still need to find Paloma. I, I think it's what Louise would have wanted. Look, I know. It's just that things go on ahead without me. I'll catch up. She needed to be here for a little while, be near him. I want to stay behind with her. No, that's not happening. You're both coming with us. We need to find Paloma, no matter how hard it is to leave here. I won't allow Alistair Crane to take another one of my children. Your children? What does that mean? What, what do you mean by that? Gwen doesn't deserve any of my children, and she's not going to get them. Shut up. But I don't. Blame Julian. Blame you. My God! Are you Louise's father? Are you Martin Fitzgerald? Prepare to be shocked. Prepare to be dropped. I can't do this! Prepare for a brand new season of Fear Factor. It's gonna take your breath away. And when Fear Factor hits New York City, forget about it. But first, a 90-minute premiere in all-new, all-couples Fear Factor. Oh, man. Fear Factor's back. NBC Tonight. All together now. Ah!